Hi, my name is Sylvia. My name's Michael. We are from Jordan River Learning Federation. Today we are talking to Richard from Western Farms. Let's go have a chat. So Richard, what's your role here at Western Farm? I'm the owner and manager of Western Farm. What does a typical day look like? A typical day for me would be uh, starting off with uh, the feeding of the animals, the chooks and the pigs. Um, today, for example, was uh, vegetable delivery day, whereas uh, we, we head off and we deliver to five or six restaurants. Um, so that means getting up early, um, harvesting the produce, um, taking the orders. Uh, we use a little bit of technology on the phone. We normally send out a vegetable list uh, the day before uh, of what we have available and the restaurants, the chefs will come back to us with their order. So it's not just about the delivery the vegetables, but it's also to, uh, to see how the chefs are using the produce. Um, it's also about that relationship, which is really important in business. What are the opportunities and benefits of working in the industry? Uh, at the moment, Tasmania is very fortunate. We're uh, riding a crest of, uh, of optimism with the food industry because of our environment, our clean green environment, um, brings lots of benefits. So that's, that's definitely one of the uh, the benefits. Uh, the other benefit is I get to work um, uh, and, and do something I love um, and be able to uh, enjoy what you do is extremely important. So to be able to combine uh, a job with something you're passionate about is, uh, yeah, I, I think I'm very fortunate. So Richard, what's your favourite part of being a farm owner? For, for me, Michael, my favourite part of that, and it's also to do with the time of the year, is um, our cut flower season. Um, we grow beautiful herbaceous peony roses and, and to see, um, see them grow and then to see the pleasure that they give other people in florists or when we export them, um, that's a, a lot of pride in the job. What got you interested in horticulture in the first place? It was a variety of things. It was um, uh, an influence from my parents. They were, they were uh, right into healthy food and uh, quite self-sufficient with goats and bees and vegetables. Um, also, um, the love of um, the outdoors uh, was one of the things that I, I've always, you know, from a young age, realised that um, there's something special about getting your hands dirty, and that, and that was for me. So Richard, what experience in education do you have? I started off uh, at a facility called Wilson Training Centre, which was a, uh, an introduction to horticulture. From then I was fortunate enough to get an apprenticeship in horticulture. Um, from there I went back to uh, night school and did an uh, advanced horticultural certificate and then a, uh, a certificate diploma in production horticulture. Uh, and in 2012 I was fortunate enough to win a uh, uh, Nuffield Farming Scholarship. For someone who's looking into horticulture, what would some of the pathways they would be looking at? I think um, starting off um, with uh, a certificate a course, whether it be uh, Hort 2 or 3, I think that's a really good introduction. I think from that point on um, you'll, you'll know if you have that passion, that love and uh, that pathway, as I, I, as, as I previously mentioned, has many pathways within, within it, um, whether it be arboriculture or viticulture or uh, cut flower production, or, it's, it's very, very vast and, and that provides great opportunities. Um, and, uh, and opportunity for travel and opportunity for continuous learning. So Richard, who's suited to something like this? Michael, it's a very good question. I think that um, somebody that's um, first and foremost passionate about horticulture, um, it doesn't matter which area of horticulture, but, but it comes down to um, that enjoyment is something as simple as seeing a seed grow out of the ground um, right through to large scale production. Thanks Richard, today's been great to learn more about farm management and horticulture.